Hey guys, I have a tag for all of you. Someone is sitting on my vanity right now. It's Lily! You guys have been requesting a video of Lily and I for a very long time, so I'm gonna put her in a video. Right now, she looks really fuzzy, so she looks bigger than she actually is. She's actually really, really small. Like, she's like, I can hold her with like one arm. And we all know how big of muscles I have. She's about like, I'd say, six pounds. Yeah, so don't uh, judge her by her fur because she's really light. Well, I just said that and her name is Lily and I named her off of the flower. Well, we bought her as a Yorkshire Terrier. That's what her papers say. But um, as she started growing up, we realized, okay, she doesn't look like most Yorkies. We don't know if they lie to us or anything. But we didn't think it was necessary to pay that much for a DNA test. So we basically just Googled dogs that ha sort of had a resemblance to Lily. She's definitely, definitely a mix between Yorkie and Norwich. They didn't mention her mother in the pe in the pamphlets. They only mentioned her father, Phoenix Pride, who was a Yorkie. We're assuming her mother was a Norwich. She loves this. She's just putting on a show for you guys. She's trying to look like the cutest dog ever. Well, oh, ooh, you just jumped there. Well, it's a long story. We had a parrot, a family parrot, and the parrot died, we came home from school, my mom was crying, it was so sad. It was a cute parrot too, it would talk and stuff. But um, I was in fifth grade, I was 10 years old, so that makes Lily eight right now. But I was 10 years old, All, the whole family was depressed about the parrot dying. And I remember my mom would go to bed every night with a Yorkie uh, like picture in the pocket of her uh, pajama shirt and that got me to fall in love with the Yorkie and I remember going, having my dad take me to the pet store, uh, a local pet store, and just looking for a Yorkie. There was only one and it was her and we fell in love with her instantly. Instantly! And I remember crying for like a couple nights to my parents, can we please get the Yorkie? And I needed something to get over the parrot and one day my mom picked me up from school and was like, okay, everyone get in the car, we're gonna go get the Yorkie. And at first, my older sister like did not like Lily. She was just upset because like our parrot died and she thought we were replacing her. But I always had this bond with her. She's always been clinging to me. Like I've always been like the number one in her life. It's so funny because she is literally like my shadow. She follows me from room to room. She sleeps with me even if I sleep on the couch or in the basement or anywhere. She needs to sleep with me. She has separation anxiety. If I go to the bathroom, she's scratching at the door. Like she needs to go in the room with me when I go to the bathroom. She's just always, always following me. And she's the same way towards Brandon because I feel like she senses like that we're a couple. And she kind of, Brandon and I like to say like we're her mommy and daddy. and. We're like her little family, and we love doing that because it makes us feel so cute. Hi, baby. You love boys. Oh my god, and she, she's a kisser. I said this earlier. I feel like I'm answering all the questions before I answer the questions. She is eight years old, and a lot of people, they're like, I'm like, okay, guys, guess how old she is, and I hold her like this. They're all like, one, two, but nope. This baby is eight, is eight. One of my mom's friends had a Yorkie that lived to be 19, so technically if, if Yorkies are living to be that long, she's only halfway there. And if any of you had a Yorkie that died uh, around this age, please do not let me know in the comments because I will actually sob. I will actually sob, so just don't mention in the comments about death or anything because I want to just appreciate her as much as possible. What are some quirky things? Okay, right now she's she's just putting on a persona for the camera. She's crazy. She runs around. She likes to growl. She likes to go. Rrr. She. I don't know. How do I explain this? She has a huge personality. A huge one. 
And literally right now, she's, I'm not even kidding, she's acting in front of you guys. Isn't that right, Lily? Oh my god! Are you okay? No, she acts like calm Lily. I call this calm Lily. She acts like calm Lily when I'm holding her and like, like petting her a lot and giving her huggies and attention. But when she wants attention or when she wants to play, she will make this cute little growling sound. She'll run up to you with a toy. She lets you know when she's angry, sad, or happy. Like her moods are defined. I'm gonna get a little emotional talking about it just because um, she is always there for me. And that's the comfort I find in having a little furry friend, you know? Because when you're having a bad day and people are bothering you and you don't want to talk to anyone, you have this little creature that you can just cuddle and make it, they make you so happy. I just, I just can't explain it. The bond I have with Lily, um, I don't want to say she's like my kid, but she is. Like, I could not imagine life without her. I don't want to imagine life without her. So that's why I said don't mention, like, the death rate for Yorkies down below because I try to convince myself that okay maybe all Yorkies get as lucky as my mom's friend so I mean if anything happened to her I would grieve about it for so long I don't like to think about it oh I forgot to mention her personality traits she's a yapper yep a little yapper Shh. <laughs> My favorite time with Lily, well there are so many stories, oh my god, oh my god. I can't think of any right now at this moment, but I can tell you my favorite is when like I come home from school and I look for her and I'm like, where is Lily? And I look around like the common spots, which is either the laundry room, if there's a pile of laundry, um, or her dog bed, or my closet, or my bed. I look for her and I'm like, where is Lily? And then when I see her, I make this high pitched noise and I'm like, hi Lily, hi. Uh, <laughs> and her ears go back and she goes And I don't know what that means, but she does it. She's getting really restless right now because everyone downstairs is watching a movie. We call her Puka. Cause you know, from the movie Anastasia, she has like that little uh, terrier named Puka. We call her Dee Dee, I don't know why. We call her Lils, Lilski, Princess Lily. Lils, I don't know why, it's like L-I-H-I-L-L-S. I don't know why, I really don't know why. I go, Lils, Lils. Um, what other nicknames? I call her Chippy because this may sound really weird, but when she gets really comfortable in a spot for too long, her paws start smelling like Fritos or like chips. So we can we call her Chippy. We call her little girl, little girl, or Porky Yorkie. That's what we call her a lot. Before we realized she was half Norwich, we just thought she was a Porky Yorkie. So we were like Porky Yorkie. Yeah. The one, the main one that sticks is definitely the hills. The hills. Anyways, that's it. I, that's all the questions that appeared on my phone for the uh, furry friend tag. But if I missed any, I apologize. I'll show you a full image of her. 360 hills. 360. Look at the camera. Look at the camera. There's a football shaped head. <laughs> yep. That's my baby, and we hope you enjoyed this, right?